Hey, it's Ethan here at eTrailer. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Yakima Skybox NX16 rooftop cargo box and how it fits on our 2021 Volkswagen Atlas. So with the Atlas, we have a decent amount of storage in the back, but maybe you're looking to get some longer or maybe some messier items, something like a golf bag, skis and snowboards, or just anything that you don't want to keep inside your vehicle. You'd rather get it up on the roof and protect it at the same time. This is a great way to do that, so let's check out how it works. The box is able to fit up to 16 feet of cubic storage, or the way that we phrase it is up to three people's worth of stuff. And it's going to add on, at its highest point, 16 inches of height onto your overall system. That's the number you're going to want to keep in mind as far as can I store this in my garage, do I need to take it off when I'm not using it, or if there might be any clearance issues elsewhere. Also, the box itself weighs 48 pounds, so factoring that in, and keeping account of your crossbars, your feet, and your roof, roof rating. In the case of the Atlas, we found that that number is 200. So we want to make sure that with the box and everything loading up inside, we want to keep it under that number. Now we can take a look inside the box. First thing we're going to need is to provide a key. We'll have to fit that in. And then we can turn it and we'll pull this down. You hear that pop. Now we can open up the box. It's got two hinges on either side, and it's going to keep the box open so I don't have to hold it open while I'm loading and unloading my gear. Taking a look inside our box, first thing we can see is that we do have these raised portions here which allow your gear to sit up on that. And if they're icy or snowy or sandy or whatever, they will just let that debris or that water fall down and store away from your gear so it's not rubbing up against that while you're driving. As well as we can see on the clamps that there are areas to put your straps through, which is nice to help you secure your gear as well. And there is the provided tool that stores right on the inside that you use to tighten down your clamps. What we do is fit it into the front here. And in our case, we'll loosen it up, but we can also tighten it. And it's got a torque spec built into it. So you'll hear that click to let you know when it's torqued properly. Inside the box again, we can see on our clamps well, around there, there is a nice strip here for us to move the clamps up and down to accommodate different crossbar spreads. If we come underneath, we can take a closer look at those clamps. Right now, they're working with our aero crossbars, and you see they have a really nice hold there, but they're also designed to work with your round, square, elliptical, and factory crossbars, so basically whatever you choose to use. From here, we'll close the box up. If I wanted to do it from the ground, this string or this lanyard here could be really helpful to do that. I'm up close, so I'll just use the handle. And one thing I want to point out before I do that is that right now, I do not have the ability to pull this key out. And you see that this red indicator is still showing up right here by the handle. And when I close the box fully, we can get the key out now. And we'll see that that indicator has disappeared, which allows us again to get the key out. Here we are on the other side. Just wanted to point out the fact that we can use the same key here. Just put that in, turn it the same way. We can open up the box from this side as well, which is partially why we have it loaded up in the center of our 53 inch crossbars here. You might be able to put it a little bit further over and get something else on there. Keeping in mind the fact that this box weighs almost 50 pounds, you start loading it up, you get really close to that 200 pound weight capacity very fast. If you've got the 60 inch crossbars, you'd have a little bit more room to make that happen if you have something light that you want to get on the other side as well. But I kind of just wanted to point out that we can open it from both sides and explain a little bit about why we have it in the center of our crossbars. One important reason why being able to accommodate different crossbar spreads is important is maybe you have a sun or moon roof on your atlas that you don't want to block completely by the box. Maybe you just want to have complete hatch access with the box fully loaded up. As you can see in our case, we have it more towards the front of the rails just a little bit. So that gives us plenty of room here. If I open up the hatch, I mean, we have a ton of room. So because the rails on the Atlas go front to back the whole way, we can move these back quite a bit and maybe even accommodate a sun and a moonroof and still be able to get in the hatch. The box is made of a durable ABS plastic, which keeps it relatively lightweight while still being able to keep out all that moisture and the weather, the elements, whatever you want to throw at it. It also has that nice textured black finish, so it's not gonna show wear and tear and scratches quite as easily as something like a glossy box would. So it is also designed to cut down on a little bit of that wind drag. Granted, you are putting something pretty large on top of your roof, so you're probably gonna feel that no matter what, 
but it is gonna cut down on some of that wind and a little bit of that wear and tear as well. Overall, as far as my opinions on this box go, I do really like the design. I like the way it fits on this car a lot too. It kind of just looks like it belongs there in my opinion. It's a really good size and the fact that we can open it up from either side is really helpful. I like the finish. It's not gonna show that wear and tear super easily. And it's a good amount of storage for the amount of people I think are going to be getting in this vehicle. That being said, here at eTrailer, we do have a ton of different sizes, options, different finishes, things you wanna check out. So if you like the roof box idea, but maybe you want something a little bit more compact, maybe you want something a little bit stylish, you know, we have those options. But as far as the fit goes for the Yakima Skybox NX16, I think it's a really nice fit. I think it'll do a really good job on our 2021 Volkswagen Atlas.